Reaching you live from Channel TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. This is Sports Tonight. Always a delight to have you join us to talk sports. I'm Austin Okonakwa, and it's still a racy, pacey, action packed world of sports. Yes, if you see the way I'm smiling, you will know that I'm ready for this sports flight tonight. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, let's go. We'll go to Morocco, play some table tennis. On the show tonight, we'll continue our discussion on the FIFA Confederations Cup. What a story. The Germans, you know what they did? They took a young side. They said, We're sending these boys to go do internship in Russia. Russia, and guess what? They're traveling back home with the trophy. Amazing story. We'll talk about it tonight on the program. We'll also uh, take a look at all of this drama going on after the National Sports Federation's elections. Yes, the appeals committee last week Friday, they came out and said, look, we don't like the way some of the elections were done. Irregularities here and there. And so they said, um, athletics, weightlifting, gymnastics, rugby, they're going to have another election. But the guys from Gymnastics Federation says, no. We're not having another election. Something went wrong, and we want to correct it. Drama coming out of the elections. We'll discuss that tonight on the program also. And keep an eye on it continuously. Um, what else are we going to talk about? March day 27 of the Nigeria Professional Football League. who has been walking with us on this journey. MFM, they're trying to tell us a story. Plateau United, will they blink and then lose out of that league table that they've been holding for quite some time? Ah, Aimba Football Club, Aqua United. Teams are beginning to shape up their race because it's getting intense in the Nigeria Professional Football League. We'll talk about that and also on the show. I will also give attention to the Nigeria National League. Um, the ITO Cup. Someone is wondering, what's the ITO Cup? Now, that's the new name for the Federation Cup. Uh, the president of the Nigeria Football Federation, Amadio Pinnick, has inaugurated a new committee that will oversee the ITO Cup. So we are getting ready for another round of football in action with that one. Let's quickly bring you into everything that we're doing tonight on the program. Remember, I keep telling you, don't just watch this show. Come, let us play for the love of the game on Twitter. Verify Twitter handle. I keep telling you, we do nothing but talk sports right there. We are channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I think sports. You can also send us an email to sports tonight at channels tv.com. Just to also let you know that all our top stories can be viewed on our website. It's channels tv.com. And on YouTube for slash channels web, you can log on to m.channelstv.com to download the Channels TV app for your iPad, your iPhone, your Blackberry, your iOS, your Windows phones, and your Android phones. Just log on to m.channelstv.com, download the app, and be part of everything that we'll be doing tonight on the program. So that's it. I keep telling you, action packed to others. Fasten your seatbelt. We're going to Morocco, where uh, Aaron Quadri, uh, arguably Nigeria's. Um, should I say, in recent times, most impressive table tennis player. What did he do today? He defeated Omar Sa in the final of the 2017 ITTF Africa Cup, and that means he has now qualified for the World Cup that will take place in France. Stand up for the champion, Aaron Aquadri and, and Omar Sa, the rivalry dates way, way back. And Aaron Aquadri winning that one today. Having conquered Egypt's Mohamed El Bilal 4-0 in the semi-final, Quadri showed his class to beat Omar Sa 4-3 in the and single final to the admiration of all the fans. Fantastic. Aaron Quadri representing Nigeria the best way he can. Throughout the encounter, uh, Quadri who played without any coach. What a shame. Was calm throughout the encounter. Even when Asa was leading, he never gave up or continued to fight and went on to win even without a coach. But uh, not the same story for uh, veteran player Olufunke or Sean Ike. Uh, she surrendered to a 4 0 defeat to Egypt. Dina Meshrev in the final. So that's sports for you. You win some and you lose some. So Arna Quadri from Nigeria beating Omar Asa from Egypt to win the men's title. Dina Meshrev from Egypt beating Olufuke or Shanaike from Nigeria to win the women's title. It's balanced. It's all good. It's all love for the game. Let's come back home now. More controversies. I told you, drama and more drama. Expect more drama in the coming weeks after um, the Federation's uh, elections. Now, uh, the guys from the Gymnastics Federation, uh, they said they are protesting the nullification of the election by the Electoral Appeals Committee. While some persons, particularly those in athletics, say, well done to the Appeals Committee, uh, these guys from gymnastics, they said no. No, we don't want. We don't want it. It, it, it didn't go well. Uh, also, the vice president-elect from the northeast, Mr. Abba, you know, condemned the annulment of the election. Do you know what? We'll continue to monitor this, and then tomorrow we'll give you a larger picture of it. Of course, tonight on Channel TV, we'll take a short break. When we come back, the FIFA Confederations Cup. Don't go anywhere. Stay.